Hi, this is Morley and this is the MWire. Folks, I have a very, very important news update for you regarding the war in Russia and Ukraine. With this latest development, things are definitely intensifying. Folks, please share this video. If there was ever a video to share, it's this one because as near as I can tell, the mainstream media isn't even so much as talking about this. And this is a very, very significant development in the war in Ukraine. The 18th Division Ready for Ukraine Poland Prepares Peace Corps Mission Plan. Folks, Poland is actually entertaining the idea of sending in a Peace Corps in the attempts to divide Ukraine to make Russia's efforts there a lot more difficult than they already are. Now, Poland is a NATO country. If NATO gets directly involved in this war, I mean, they already are in, in a sense. They just haven't done it on Ukrainian soil because NATO countries are obviously sending aid and weapons and whatnot to Ukraine to fight this war. But this would constitute essentially NATO involvement, even though it's, it's the Polish Peace Corps that's getting involved because Poland's a NATO country. And that would not bode well for anybody, especially Poland and the Baltic states. Now, this article is out of War News 7, which is basically a Greek website, but they give very, very reliable information on what's going on in any conflict anywhere. Um, if you want to take a look at it, it's in Greek, but you have to use Google Translate to read it. Um, I'm going to link this article in the description box if you want to read it for yourself. But let's get into the particulars of this article because, folks, this, this is very, very grim here. Let's, let's get into it. The General Staff of the Polish Armed Forces is preparing the 18th Division for deployment in four regions of western Ukraine. Russian media report that a draft peacekeeping mission has been drawn up in Ukraine and that military administration is waiting for the green light from the government. Poland has already developed a draft NATO's Peace Corps mission for Ukraine, Russian media say. According to the same sources, there is strong information that Poland intends to send forces to western Ukraine with the aim of dividing the country into two parts. The Poles are working on this plan, although there are serious disagreements between the government and the military of the neighboring country. President Duda is reportedly afraid to give permission for the use of Polish forces until he receives U.S. approval for the operation. This is expected to be clarified in a few hours with Biden's arrival in Europe and the NATO summit in Brussels. Until now, the Americans have ruled out engaging in operations on Ukrainian territory, but not have barred others from doing so. So they're basically waiting for Brandon's blessing, as it were, to go ahead and do this. Now, after this meeting in Brussels, Brandon is apparently going to Poland. Folks, can you think of a better time for Russia to do a nuclear strike than when the president of the United States happens to be in that country. Can you think of a better time? I'm not saying it's going to happen, folks. I pray it doesn't happen. But, I mean, the, the West and Russia's relations are at an all-time low, and things are looking very grim. Like I say, even if this Peace Corps rolls over the border... Folks, make no mistake about it, this is World War III. It's not even my opinion or anyone else's conjecture anymore. This is actual and so. Meanwhile, several Russian experts claim that Poland, under the guise of a peacekeeping mission, wants to reclaim primitive Polish territory, i.e. to occupy four areas of western Ukraine. In this case, the Polish general staff is a in fact, secretly mobilizing and staffing the 18th Division. In addition, Polish army forces have been deployed on the border with Ukraine and U.S. troops stationed in Poland have appeared in the border area with Belarus.
It is not clear how the Poles themselves imagine carrying a peacekeeping operation in Ukraine. The introduction of peacekeeping forces requires permission from Russia, which of course it will not give it. And without permission, it will mean intervention in the conflict. As Moscow has previously warned, Russia is adamantly opposed to Western intervention in the special operation in Ukraine. If any of the countries intervenes in the conflict, measures will be taken to eliminate this intervention without taking into account the alliances, etc. The Russian ambassador to Poland said today that Warsaw had blocked all accounts of the Russian embassy on the grounds and they could be used to finance terrorist act or money laundering. Our accounts have been frozen following a decision by the Polish Ministry of Finance and following the decision by the Polish prosecutor, Ambassador Sergei Andreev told Russian state television. The Polish Foreign Ministry announced on Wednesday that it was deporting 45 Russian diplomats believed to be spying for Moscow. Russia called the accusation baseless. When asked about the deportation of these diplomats and whether the resources of the Russian embassy have been frozen, the Polish Prime Minister replied today, I can only say that we are dealing with the freezing of the resources of the Russian Federation. Now, this Peace Corps is apparently only three kilometers or like less than one-tenth of a mile or so from the Ukrainian border. If they decide to roll over the border and try to be heroes and try to intervene in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, folks, we are definitely at World War III. Now, the Kremlin has said before that any Polish intervention or any NATO country intervention will result in making Poland and the Baltics disappear. I don't think I need to elaborate on how Russia would make Poland and the Baltics disappear. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory how they would do that. I don't need to elaborate. Folks, this thing is intensifying. I'm, I'm praying for the world right now, and you should be too, because we are very, very, very close to being at World War III. And as I said before, that's not my conjecture. Uh, the facts kind of speak for themselves. There is no way that a NATO country is going to get involved directly into this war and the result not being World War III. I welcome your comments as per usual. Please leave them in the comment box. And thank you so much for coming along with me to my video. Please remember to like, to comment, to share and to subscribe, and God bless.